started the Babysitter's Club to take care of kids. But what I realized, we were more than a club. We were best friends. Babysitter's Club! <laughs> you guys have so much style in the show and in real life. It's so good. And the premiere is coming up, so you both have to be so excited. But how familiar were you with these books before you actually started the series. So my mom had always referred to herself as being a Dawn. And so of course when I was younger, I was like, who the heck is Dawn? So I did my research. I did a lot of research and I figured out that we have this big box of the old Babysitter's Club books in the garage. So I stumbled across them and it was honestly like a story, like a fairy tale book ending. And I have fallen in love with them and they're definitely one of my favorite book series. Your mom and I have so much in common because I was a mad Babysitter's Club fan when I was <laughs> so I don't want to throw my age, but I did love them. So what about you, Sochi? What about you? How did you, were you into the books at all or did you get into them before the show? When Netflix first announced that they were going to be doing a, a Babysitter's Club, I was like, okay, well, let's, I want to be part of this. And my mom started digging on eBay and finding the books and getting as many as she could. And once they came to the house, of course, I just read them and I started reading and I started watching, I, I watched the TV series and the movie. Um, and I have to say, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> awesome. And here you gals are, you are now a part of this club, not only like, you know, in the sake of a friendship in real life, but like for Netflix, that's pretty cool. So have you gained some cool points with your friends at all? Because now you're a part of a Netflix series. Well, for me, I feel like my friends ha have like, you know, they don't really like to talk about it because they're like, oh, she's on a Netflix show. Uh, okay, well, um, I don't know what to do with that, you know, uh, but it's, I feel like it's really important for them to know that um, I'm still the same person and that we're friends no matter what. <laughs> Absolutely. What about you, Malia? Do your friends treat you any differently or have you scored some major cool points with them because now you're on Netflix? Uh, some people have like drifted away. I'm okay with that because they didn't support me before, so it's okay. Um, it kind of sucks, but it's okay. Um, but some people have like come back to me since like kindergarten. I got some like kindergarten friends coming in, like I was in your class. I was like, oh, right. I definitely remember that for sure. Um, but I, but I feel like my closest friends, they have definitely stuck beside me the whole time. They have been my grounding points and they've been so lovely and so supportive and they're very excited for me. So I'm very grateful to have them. That's awesome. And what mm -hmm. I love about this series, I thought you guys did a phenomenal job in the episodes I was able to see. I can't wait to see the last one, but they're keeping me <laughs> you know, on the edge of my seat. The series <laughs> is about you know, being inclusive and being friends. It really is. At the heart of it, it's about friendship. So how did you all bond over you know, the sake of shooting the series? How were you all able to bond on set? And did you bond off set? And have you been able to communicate with one another since we've all been in quarantine now? At the very start of the first, well, the last audition, when we all told we got cast as a babysitter's club, we exchanged phone numbers and we FaceTimed and we texted like almost every day. And I feel like that was a great like foundation for a bonding point. But when we finally met in person again, I feel like it was just so natural and we became friends like that and we clicked so well. And of course, forming these bonds with these girls was gonna be a little easier because they're all my age and we all have a lot of shared interests. And I feel like that's a leverage for us, I guess. Um, but yeah, I feel like we've definitely connected. We're all like our own little BSC family now. Oh, I love hearing mm -hmm. that. And what about you, Sochi? Have you guys been able to like maintain communication with each other since you've now wrapped filming and you know, the series is about to come out for everyone to see. So have y'all been in touch with one another during quarantine? We keep in touch with uh, FaceTime, you know, group chats and social media. But um, like Malia said, we were told at the test on our final, you know, audition that we were the Babysitter's Club. And that is um, actually very rare. Um, kids usually don't get told that. They get to um, meet their cast on like on one of the first days. And so I feel like having, you know, having that information um, and getting to, you know, share each other's like information, like, you know, numbers. Um, yeah. 
really helped. It really, like she said, it, it grew a foundation and where later on now, it's like we know so much about each other and to the point where it's like, oh my gosh, oh, <laughs> where do I even start, you know? <laughs> Clearly at the Babysitter's Club, the heart of it, you guys obviously is friendship, but you also do babysitting and a lot of it and you make it look so fun and easy. But in real life, do you guys have a lot of babysitting ex experience? Yes, I did the babysitter's test when I was in grade six and we learned a lot, a bunch of stuff. Some of it freaked me out. I was like, I need to learn about internal bleeding while I'm babysitting. But we learned a lot of stuff, a lot of medical stuff as well. And I definitely think I'm prepared for any babysitting jobs in the future. I've been babysitting my sister, I don't know, forever now. So, <laughs> uh, and experience from kids around my block. So definitely, I love babysitting. Oh, cool. So it comes in handy for the job. And so, Chi, what about you? Do you have any ba babysitting experience in real life, young lady? Not much babies like I did in the in the show, but um, mostly, you know, toddlers. But, you know, there there aren't too many of those in my hood. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I get to pets in a lot. <laughs> awesome. Hey, those are, you know, babies to a lot of folks. My pup is my baby, so... Hey, I'll take it. Well, ladies, congratulations. The series was awesome. And I wish you to continue to success. And I know I'm going to see your stars shining in the future. So just keep on keeping on. All right. Thank you so much. Thank this you. is so nice. Oh, I mean it. Take care. Okay. <laughs> Have fun. Bye. Thank Bye. you.